start, start it again. You ready? One, one, two, three, go! Sweat Equity Podcast and streaming show number one comedy business, business comedy podcast in the world. Give me money. Oh, I thought that was a longer What do we get paid for? What, that sound drop? Yes. I don't know. I don't know. What are you talking about the sound drop? We're, we're the number one comedy business podcast in the world, Galaxy. We're... <laughs> This is the best way to start off the show. Yeah. Pragmatic entrepreneurial advice with real raw dog talk. Bring her back down. 2020's best small, medium enterprise business advisory podcast in the United States. We're 2021's best podcast and streaming entertainment studio, Eastern United States Media Innovator Awards 2021, hosted by Corporate Vision Magazine. <laughs> we won another award. I forgot what it is. BFC. I don't have it on my rundown. Woo! But we already won another 2021 award because some of those awards might be fake. Well, I mean, they give out a complimentary package. I do want to buy. That's where the, I think I draw the line in the sand. They I give do. you free shit. I got to be honest. I kind of want to buy a trophy for $200. Uh, I think Great British Town. It's not very prudent, so I'm not going to do it. Listen to us on uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Podcasts, Google Podcasts, anywhere podcast or listened to or served or deployed or published in those eardrums of yours you said served last time so anyway go ahead am i getting served in the intro is that what's going on like you got served uh this episode i'm just going to run down all what? three sponsors try expressvpn.com forward slash sweat get you three months free off an annual plan off a virtual private network log in to an ip in the sky it's like a, a computer in the sky don't get tracked by big data. You want to log into another country, use that IP address, ExpressVPN. Uh, try ExpressVPN.com forward slash sweat. Grasshopper, try grasshopper.com forward slash sweat. Gets you $75 off an annual plan. That's the entrepreneur's phone line. Get a second app on your phone for your business. And Warby Parker, uh, eyeglasses, sunglasses, prescription, if you need it, Warby Parker trial.com forward slash sweat. Get on fire. Go down. Yep. Five free pairs to try on. I'm the Micro Machines guy, motherfucker. Let's do this. Howdy, toddy. about my sweat equity? Sweat equity. Sweat equity. My sweat equity. My sweat equity. Sweat equity. What about my sweat equity? Coming in hot. I, well, it was slow to start. I thought I heard the music kind of fading into the the crescendo of it. Yes. So I had to, I had to pump it up. You got hot ears if anybody's watching. Yeah, anybody it. see my ears? Hold up. I make this happen. I don't know what they, that they is. Look, I, I don't it. know either. But the, I it started out with just one too. I was like, this <laughs> side of my body's dying, and then the other one. So that makes it okay when they're both red. Yeah. Because that means symmetry, and you're not dying. Well. I'm it, a doctor. It it and it's one of those things that's like um, that you have like uh, you know like a stain on your shirt no one sees but it bothers you. Like yeah, it's, it's usually my stains everybody sees them. Well, I wouldn't barbecue stain or white t-shirt stains. But I mean that's like I wouldn't have noticed until you said something before we got on air. And now I empathize because I hate having hot the hot ear thing. I don't, I don't get it. Have you had water today? Yes, I drank a lot of water. Did you Thank get enough you for sleep? asking. Did you get enough sleep? Yeah, I slept good. What's different about today? I don't know. I guess my ears are warmer than the rest of my body. Yeah. Well, yeah, and you don't wear... Uh, we should do a podcast about medical advice. My medical advice would be don't go on WebMD because it just all it's just a decision tree that Could leads to cancer. Leads to cancer. Could be, or you have AIDS or something. It's always miserable every time you go on WebMD. I want to follow up from our last episode where we were dispensing advice to young ghost. Yes, uh, we'll catch everybody. Not up. like a child who died. He's alive. He's younger for that for that knowledge, right? Uh, so I feel like we have to give a postscript to that. Uh, the backstory is uh, this young man named Ghost was uh, looking for opportunities and thought this guy, Eric, he looks with hot ears. He looks like businessman. Yeah. He looks like he can make some stuff happen. Um, and he proceeded to text you in a very, uh, what I would call 
uh, Tinder conversation, like that of a dating app almost. Right. Tin T I N D E R not T E. No, no, not 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 like um, not loving a lot of lube. Right. It was it was like he was talking to you on a dating app trying to hook up. Right. Kind of like cut lot, the shit attitude. Well, a lot <laughs> of misspelled like, shit telling telling you to call him. Right. Now, right, which is absurd. I want to be clear: we were not making fun of the guy. Uh, that's not at all what it was. If it that it came across in a, like at all, but at the same time, you know, we're here to give our side of he, it. He wanted advice. How did we? And you know, right, exactly, and he got it. So he did. Yeah, do, I mean, he he listened to at least a part of the show. I don't think he listened to the whole thing. I think he... He got deep. He got deep because... Go ahead. Well, yeah. I don't actually recall what you had said about his father. No, I just said this guy, the way he's trying to talk to you... By the way, not we're not sober while we're doing this. But I feel... I'm, I'll bring it up because I, I feel clairvoyant. Like, I feel like, you know, when, when my brain wasn't working, when I... Uh, going through a bunch of personal drama, I didn't, I couldn't make a read like that. And now it, it, for me, it's a little validating because it's like, oh, my instincts are back kind of thing. Um, right. Yeah, it's, all all I said was like, all I said was that uh, it, the way he's going about it is like he didn't have a dad to teach him stuff like how to talk to people like this this is the disciplines i and the reason i say that is because i think about it a lot for my kids right i I've, i'm trying to teach them how to shake hands even though they're five and four it's, sure. ador- it's adorable no, yeah it's adorable look and people your kids the, doing it too come on look people in the eyes you know if you say sorry to your sibling right. i want you to look them in the eyes don't yeah. just say sorry just, and walk yeah, away don't roll your eyes when you're doing sorry i think these are the dad things that right. typically i i get what you're saying i know I know you weren't trying to be a dick. No, uh, but you know, at the same time, this is a, a show to be funny as well. <laughs> like, it's right. it's not just um, we we want to have a mix of real advice, yeah, but we can't be too serious about it. But we don't want to be saccharine sweet. And uh, my thing was like uh, it validated my my thought, and I was going from A to C without B. Right, trying to uh, go. The, it sounds you like should mentor him. I'm no, I'm you I'm be full. His business dad. I'm full. I just I just got off a uh, an hour and fifteen minute advisory board call that uh, I got asked to be on an advisory board for my kid's former school, a nonprofit. I'm the youngest person on the board by twenty years, I think. It yeah. was <laughs> the, the like half the meeting. I'm already pre frustrated because I know this is going to be a low tech struggle, and it's. It's not anybody on the board. Everybody's great. It's me being frustrated. Like the Zoom, they're like, they couldn't figure out Zoom for most of the meeting. Uh-huh. It's like this, I'm still sharing a screen. How do I get this up? And like. It's a little bit on them. Uh, you yeah. weren't hosting this uh, the, Zoom soiree, were you? I was not. Exactly. So whoever was doing that. But I will tell you, I, I was like, I'll take the initiative because they sent me an email. Here's the Zoom link. And I was like, hey, is it cool? I'll just send out a calendar invite because I feel like that's kind of formal. We live in that world where that was that's kind of what you do with Zoom meetings. A calendar on the computer? And I sent it. And then <laughs> – so there's 16 people on this thing. I think 10 of them replied back to me. No, uh, not going. No, they said I, I'll be there. I was like, all you got to do? Is just hit the attending. Oh, they to say yes to the thing I said. They wrote a message out. Bad yeah, sign. Yeah, they wrote it back. All you had to do is click a button. Like it's some bullshit. Like I was asking them in emails. Like, oof, this is gonna be this is gonna be rough. And yeah. I, I've already I've already uh, decreed to myself I'm gonna be a little bit curt to get stuff done, or else I'll be very very frustrated. <laughs> well, well, I mean, yeah. like, okay. I mean, typically, I I try. Why'd to, you say yes? Um, cause I want to help this. I want to help the school out. All right, Kurt. I, yeah. Call me Kurt Warner, dude. Um, what, what I'm saying is, you know, when you're walking into like, this is going to be a project I just walked into as volunteer, right? You do a lot of volunteering as well. Like you're like, okay, but I want to make this worth my time because we've both volunteered for stuff, especially in the digital services to donate. Um, right. and, it, and it's like, 
I now know to be a little bit like this is how this is how it shall go. Yes. Or I'm out. If they're yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I'm like I was thinking about like I'm gonna make them a website and I'm not gonna ask for anybody's input. And oh just, no! I'm gonna make no it input. No. Fuck. Right. Um, no, just do everything. Right. And just be like, here it is. I, I no d- notes. I jumped off. I don't the call. care if I spelled your name wrong. I jumped off the call just to to and I I texted the executive director of the school and I was just like I quit. I had to jump off because we're doing this. I had to jump off the call and I was like. I'll take care of the branding and all the, uh, uh, you know, marketing strategy and the digital marketing tactics and stuff. I'll take care of all of that. <laughs> I was like, that, that's how I left it. Yeah. She's like, great. <laughs> Fantastic. She's cool. you can say that. Yeah. Um, this is what they want most of the time, especially a volunteer situation. One thing that got me thinking, though, there's a lot of grant talk, a lot of talk about. Um, okay, so we got Kurt, we got Grant. You know, the, the we got, names I got to memorize. A lot of 90s guy names. Right. <laughs> um. We, Houston Astros, 1992. I don't know. I'm thinking Grant Hill. Um, but, sure. Yeah, that worked. Uh, um, now I'm trying to think of other grants. Uh, I can't do it. <laughs> um, Horace Grant? But I was doing this independent. I was searching the other day independent of this, of the school stuff. And I was like, remember we had David Albright. Albright? I totally remember that. It was, well, he was on uh, probably a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. He was a uh, acquaintance of mine that created like his own program, his own app, where it can basically uh, find it finds all the tax breaks for your company that you might need. Oh, okay. So he has the consulting service, like I will find you money, kind of thing. Right. Uh, not only does he come in as a consultant and like you know help with the that what you would think a consultant would do to kind of cost accounting stuff, but. He also does, uh, he also made his own like program to, it indexes all the shit online, all the government sites and has all the grants and all the tax uh, breaks that you can do if you do X, Y, and Z kind of thing. Pretty brilliant. Yeah. So I was just What like, is the site? He's not, site. He's not going to, no, it's his program. I'm oh, saying. it's his program. I thought you had a site that did it. Uh, no, he made his own like software. How do people get hold of him? Through our website, through our <laughs> website, we're gonna look it up later. Put it in the show notes. No, I'm saying uh, he. I, it's sure, it's sure. diabolical because it's. I just got a, an email about this from. This is why I brought it up. I I oh. I got a a cold marketing email from an email I just made. So it's definitely got like it definitely got like uh, s- scraped off the LinkedIn because like I made an email account you just made right, and I made it. Why haven't I heard of this email account? Uh, it's, it's law at lawsmithworks.com. It's because I'm, I haven't made my personal site yet that I'm working on. I didn't ask for the, I mean, I don't care. People can, everybody anybody email listening, law. email me if you want, uh, email questions in the show. Dick pics only. Uh, you know the rules. Yeah. Only if they're girthy. I don't give a shit. And so I'll take, I'll take a, uh, a, a clam gram as well. <laughs> clam grams and dick pics. Only if it's nasty. It has to rhyme. Um, so I got a cold marketing email from, and I put this email as my contact email on LinkedIn. So it, it definitely got indexed. I, I'm doing it as a little bit of a test to see what, how much shit comes in from this, from that, right? Okay. It's a lot. That is a nerdy ass scientific experiment. This is, this, this is who you're <laughs> heterosexual, <laughs> heterosexually married to. I you. agreed to marry this guy. So, what? So... I like A-B tests. I like, I like throwing out a theory. I was like, I get a lot of garbage emails, and I think it's because my, my stuff gets scraped off LinkedIn. And I go, I just want to isolate it and just see what, what's what. Okay. And so uh, I got one that was like, you can have a membership for a website like David has uh, to search for grants. And the subscription model to sign up is like 20 bucks a week to be able to <laughs> find everything. All they're doing is taking public information, indexing it, putting it in their own search. Right. Right. It's not hidden grants. It's out there. But if you've ever seen uh, a bill become a law, and for some reason, every single thing they put through Congress has to have 9,000 pages. God only knows what they're putting in there. Like, that's why it's a, a nice program. It's because you can't, nobody's going to sit and read all that shit. 
Well, the their the government sites are treat they don't treat it like a business, right? So oh, no. so they don't they don't want people knowing about it, really. They do, but they don't say, yeah, you're right. do enough, do. right? So they, they do it's on it's online to them, right? So it's out there right. on the world wide web. We uploaded the PDF. Yeah. Is your web to, crawler getting to it? The online. And so yeah, that's part of it too. Actually, a lot of government sites I've noticed will upload PDFs that aren't indexable by a search. So um, it's one of those things that, you know, innov- uh, necessity breeds innovation. It's one of those things where I, I part of me was like, I kind of want to do it a trial just to see what it procures, you know? Yeah, but like, why would you need a subscription? Why would you need more than a week? Um, I just don't. I don't know. That's why I, it's like, I mean, how often am I checking for grants? I mean, there that, I don't know how many grants come through. Are there a shitload of grants every week that just There's a lot made of up? So you, See, I don't know. We should learn about things before we talk about them. So I, I was thinking about it for our show, honestly, because there's grants that we could probably get for this show. Oh, Kurt, give us some grants. So you have a county grant. You have county grants. You have city grants. You have your state and you have federal, right? And then that's not even including like privatized grants out there. Sure. Right. So there, it's one of those things when you're a nonprofit, you're trying to go, I'm in my head, I'm listening to this, uh, to this advisory board I'm on and they're talking a lot about grants and I'm like, yeah, there's gotta be a lot of other opportunities out there that, you know, used to just need to know someone that knew stuff going on civically. Yeah. But I think, uh, I think, I think I'll do some extra credit and see what I can find or whatever. There's got to be a, a strategy to it. I mean, there's going to be some kind of way to to game it, to narrow it down. Well, yeah, it got me thinking like, okay. Some well, sort of metric that you're saying, oh, you want to look at this for your what you're looking for. Sort of, or, I don't know, you know. or a Google <laughs> alert that will get you for a grant that says XYZ right. that we might be qualified for and we'll be the first to know. Right. You know, there's a lot of programmatic shit with grant monies like, even even with the federal uh, like payouts like PPP loans and stuff, uh, I remember hearing that like the way you get it is if you had a programmatic way uh, programmatic like app that would submit for you to get that loan. Oh, um, I when I hear that I think there's like high volume programmatic like right a lot of high volume. volume exactly. But you're saying it for. I don't. People were it doing it for for PPP loans for so think of anything that's bottlenecked. Oh, that, like false ones, like just no, 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 legit ones. But it's like you, I mean, how many businesses are people owning? My point. Oh, I mean, that's a very like that's a savvy move that uh, our our friend uh, was doing, and then like he heard about it from the big dogs doing it. Right. You know, we're in the the marketing automation space of sorts, so it's like he knew. Okay, the big banks are doing this, so let's see if we can do it on a smaller scale. Oh yeah, I mean, and we'll do it to the small banks. It's, dude, anything that has to do with uh, timeliness on the internet, yeah, has a bot right. that'll do it right. better than you will. Right, like the shoe apps, like looking for new Jordans. Guess what? There's a guy in Russia with a bot that's getting all the shit you want. Yeah, and and he doesn't have to be there. It kind of like a douche. In a way, it sucks. Um, if you're like a consumer, like right. you really genuinely think you're waiting, uh, it's fun. You know, it's a fun idea. Like, oh, you're gonna you get you enter the raffle, you enter the draw to see if you get the shoes, sort of thing. Right, and then it's just like, well, whatever they're doing, you know, that's what works. Yeah, it's I mean, it's the, yeah, it uh, <laughs> when it's intangible and you can find shortcuts, you're gonna take advantage of it. Right, but uh, I I meant to say it was. Some, uh, big businesses trying to get these loans, these like uh, federal bailout loans or whatever. Uh, the banks, were, the big banks were using, or God damn it, the big businesses what were using it to get loans, like PPP loans. Okay, you finished before. Yeah, I thought you were gonna Sorry. ramble on a lot longer. Well, I said I, 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 I miss said what I meant. I was looking for the cricket sound. Well, look, we could talk. Uh, so I'm sure you were right about what you said. We can talk tech stack stuff like that. How you want to talk about it? I don't know. I mean, you were, it's been on your mind. Oh, well, I mean. How about this? You, we'll start this way. Everybody on a consumer level, uh, there's a lot of bots that will help you 
uh, lower your bills because it is almost programmatic to negotiate with a lot of things. Sure. So trim, uh, I think it's trim.co. Oh, yeah. I used it once upon a time. It actually yeah, does work. I forgot about that guy. Yeah. little yeah, we cute used to robot. We talk about it all the time. Trim.co, is that what it's called? I think so. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> That's Get a, a haircut. haircutting company. Trim. I'm surprised you went with .co and just not finish her off. Com. Try com. Oh, God. Don't click on that. Just kidding. There's nothing on there. Here's Another your favorite beauty tool since uh, 1947. So don't go to trim.co or trim.com. Or tubgirl.com, because that's a completely bad site. But uh, trim cut down. Trim cut bills down dot com. I'm you'll, trying... you'll get it. We'll just guess. We'll just guess it. What is it called? It's called debt.org? Nope. Maybe it's ask trim. That's it. Yeah. All right. The name's trim. Oh, the name is trim. Yeah. It, Kirk it, Grant and trim. It should be. Uh, memorable because it's what you can call vagina. Oh, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> this is a comedy show. Really good joke. Well, I, honestly, that's how I do <laughs> remember it. I remember all my apps. Right. Well, if it's anywhere close to a dick joke, it's I. I probably got a good memory of it. Um, but that's what it does pops up. what it does is if you sign up for this now here's here's there's always a catch right. So the catch is you link it into your bank account, and it'll see all your transactions. Sure, they can see that. So for us, we it. don't give a shit. They don't they judge us. Well, it's a bot. It doesn't judge anything. But they're ta- uh, the long game is they probably – this is where I, I stop uh, with it, and I, I make sure to delete all my, my footprint on there, was in the long game, it's going to get all your data. You know, I know, you know this might be big – a, a bigger fear that might not ever happen, but um, you know, like the 23 and me thing where you, you, you don't want to do it because everybody can eventually have your data purchased and it could affect like your credit, stuff like that. You know, you know, they already have everything they need to affect your credit. Well, I do believe we have a, a lot of data out there. We don't know how to use it or connect it correctly in a lot of ways. There's a lot of bad data. It's a lot of stolen stuff. There, the, the data is out there, I believe, but like, I don't think we know how to properly kind of integrate it into anything yet. Right, and you're you doing anything is not going to matter. But if you're going to get it eventually, if you were a person, Just bend over and take it. If you were a person that uh, has two checking accounts, that one is just for like personal bills or something, and the others. Right, your, your second family, your guma, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. your side piece shit. Um, that would make sense. That's what I might do, just because I'm curious about it. But it's like, uh, so what it'll do is it will interact with customer service, um, like chat bots and stuff. And well, then, that is creepy because they're talking to another bot. Yep, on the other end, exactly right. Learning from each other, right. Like, we could run this whole fucking thing if we want, guys. It, it's pretty creepy, honestly, because on like Verizon, for example, they will push you to the automated uh, chat that's supposed to, for the low-tech right. crowd, looks Are like someone. Are you sure you want to talk to a real person? You're sure? We're pretty sure this decision tree we've made is going to really point you in the right direction. And I yell at my computer. I, there's only four options. Right. You guys Operator. Are all, you guys are all in fucking cahoots. Like, uh, you got us. Yes. You win. It's an oligopoly. Yeah, that's a, that's a word. It's a word. I don't know if it applies. Yeah, there's only like four or five cell carriers in the United States. Yeah, promise me we don't Google that word. Oligopoly? Yep. What's monopoly? I asked you to promise. Monopoly? One poly. Monopoly. <laughs> one, one, one owns the whole thing, right? Yes. Oligopoly? There's like a, a consortium. Oleg. <laughs> Oleg? Owns it. All That's the, a real name. <laughs> Definitely uh, NHL.com. Look that up. It's on It's on there somewhere. A state of limited competition in which a market is shared by a small number of producers or sellers. Sure. So uh, airlines, uh, cell phone, internet providers, um, they're like yeah. credit card companies, banks, you know, uh, they kind of dictate the market. Now banks have, there's a lot more banks, but really like cell phones, you got, you think like Boost Mobile is like a deal, and it's like, right. oh, this is off the backbone of Sprint. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is just a 
brand extension. Yeah, they didn't grassroots a bunch of people together and start building their own towers. And, you know, we're going to do it on our own, guys. No, it's, they're it's, just like, can we just throw our shit up on top of your shit? Well, one of the funniest things, like right? Port- Portlandia had the one about doing a startup cell phone company. Right. <laughs> and it's like, that's basically, to me, that's what it, that episode's about. It's like, oh, there's just some shit you just, you'll never, there's yeah, such you're a not high. starting your own cell phone company. There's such it's a high happen. barrier to entry that like, and we just kind of lay over and take it. Yeah. There's like three three people in the United States that could start their own cell company. Right. Like they have the infrastructure and the money to, you know, it, realistically there's, you can't do everything. In right. Your dreams. Yeah. It's the same thing. With like, so it's, that's kind of a utility now that everybody has to have. Same with internet. And you're like, well, whatever, wherever they laid fiber in my neighborhood is what I have to get. You know, like. There's not a lot of choices out there. Yeah, I mean, we love corporate consolidation. Yeah, it's higher yeah. Th- higher than ever. We've been doing it with municipal shit for years and years already. Garbage and water and electricity, you know. Yeah, but the good we don't the, have a choice for electricity. The good news is there's always room for someone to come Start in and disrupt. Start our own electric company. Ooh, well, I mean, you can like uh, Southwest was kind of innovative in the fact that they go, we'll take old planes, we'll we'll make our own airline out of that and we'll make it like the small, uh, small flight paths. It yeah. kind of worked their way up that way. Yeah. But now, yeah. now they're one of the big dogs. Yes. And, and they're, they're still better in our head because we still think of them as cheap and they, they don't charge you for bags. Are they cheap still? I don't know. They're the tickets are even, but if you try to uh, put it up next to the other, like American and uh, Delta, like, the other parts of it where you don't have to like pay for uh seats. Uh huh. Have you been on a flight now? Every seat so is like what year? Every seat is like every seat is like you have to pay extra basically. Every seat. Yeah, they're like it's Do they have like a standing thing. They're on like the here, with the, the little holdy things. Basically it's like they have like uh stand. Ryan Air does that in uh England. But it's, it's pretty cool actually. I wouldn't mind it. Yeah, it's not bad. I'd they're, be a standing guy, probably. I, I wouldn't want to do it across country, but, um, you know, that would be, that would be a bit much. Yeah. Well, we laugh about it. And then it's like, we I would always figure out a way to dad style, fall asleep. Oh, hold yeah. on to that okay. thing. Oh no. I look dude, at him. He's not even moving. 10 minutes in. I'm, I'm sitting crisscross thing. applesauce on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just head down. Tuck it in. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. TP yourself in there. You be, uh, look, it will only take, seven seconds for Americans to just treat it like a bathroom. Right. If it's one big communal room. Yeah. Yeah. There would be fights everywhere. It'd be terrible. Uh, yeah. We we were not good at that. Um, we need personal space, but the tech stack stuff, like there is, uh, you know, we don't, we don't really get into accounting that much in this show, but. Well, there's, I mean, forget the money part of it. How about just remembering all your passwords or how many things that you pay for, that you don't even that go right back to the money, <laughs> but like just stuff that like is just an extra piece of RAM in your mind that takes it like, Oh yeah, I pay for, uh, I have life lock. What's that do? Yeah. I want to have it. I don't want to not have it. It's like, you know, I'll fucking use that. It's like not a life locks a rip off. Right. Did we decide that? I don't think it's a rip off. I think it's pretty much rip off. I don't think it's a rip off. I don't think they can do dick. They can't do what you Google think they can, can do. Google can lifelock do dick. <laughs> they, you've got a computer right there. Uh, they, they, um, what's it called? They, they're like an expediter if you get in trouble, but they're not going to, they, what, what you think, what everybody thinks they do is like solve the problem, but that's not what they promise. They promise like, we'll, we'll expedite this to get it resolved quicker, basically. Yeah, they don't make it out like that, though. Oh, I know. They don't sound like that in their in their ads. I was a member for a while. Yeah, me too. Both suckers. But anyways, there's a lot of shit that you just... Well, that's a fear purchase on our part. You know, that's all that is. Of course, it's insurance. You think it's digital identity insurance. Right, right. And then I, I've done another one. I was telling you the other day, I've done one like a... ID ID Nofi or something. It's spelled wrong from like one of the credit companies, like an add on. I was like, all right, I'll try this out. And it's like, here's all the shit you're listed on online. Basically, here's all the places your email and password have been uh, compromised. And it's like a crazy long list. 
Oh, really? Yeah. Because I'm, we, we're we online a lot more than the average person. So it's like, we've got subscriptions everywhere. So I, I was like, I'm going to try to make it my mission to kind of declutter that, like reduce that over time. Yeah. No, that's good. I mean, it, I showed you fastpeoplesearch.com. Right. That's you, good. That's a good one. That, I mean, if there's anything anybody takes away from this episode, if you have a number that calls Hi, you, ExpressVPN. if you have a number that calls you, I learned this from a business development gal at one of those like uh, suit companies that's really aggressive. And it's like, you know, they call you up and they're like, hey, uh, they'll leverage some one of, some LinkedIn connection. They'll be like, I know this person and I'm in town and it's, uh, can I come by your office to measure you? Uh, I'm like, I don't wear- Cold st- called you on the phone? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't get that shit. Uh, well, they looked up like when I had the agency owner of the agency, uh, and then I think they just looked at the profile. It was like, oh, he has an office, and then tried to like leverage like, oh, I went to Auburn too, or something. Like, I know this person, and they told me about you. There was actually a thing going around with a bunch of guy friends of mine that we would refer other buddies, knowing this would be a waste of time for them. Oh, well, that's probably just years and years of uh, residual effects from that. What? What's happening to you with the people wanting to try suits on you or whatever the hell you're talking about? Nothing. nothing. I'm just saying I think it's a funny business model. They're just very aggressive about going to your office to measure you, to get you suits made. And now we look at the suit market. It's all like you can get a suit for 200 bones. That's right. That's not too terrible. No, they're good. And they're then, good enough for us. But uh, what's it 200, called? $200 suit kind of guys. Yeah. What are we? Uh, Three thousand dollar suit? <laughs> my six thousand dollars suit? You uh, talk to me like that? But uh, she showed me because f- she had to reverse search all these uh, phone numbers that were calling her back and stuff. And she told me about fastpeoplesearch.com dot com, and it'll it'll bring up now Spokio. A lot of people will Google like reverse uh, reverse phone number search, and Spokio will probably come up what first. I used to use White Pages, but uh, fast people search is better than all of those other ones. And it, it is creepy. If you Why look, is it better? I don't know. Uh, it it like gives you more info. It does have a It doesn't long... have a lot of upsell either. Yeah. No, I mean, it, it it digs deep, pulls up dead people. It's like anything that's ever been connected to this phone number in any way. Yeah. Here it is. We're not saying what it means. There it is. It's public it's information. There. Again, right. just like the grant search exactly. uh, or the... Uh, the Indices. tax benefit Indices. search, it it is pulling up public record. And I was telling you, like, next time I buy a house, I'm I'll this will be a pain in the ass to make like an LLC just to protect that that part of you. But I fucking hate that all all that shit's public record. What you're gonna buy form an LLC to buy your house? Yeah, just as a protection. Yeah, but in Florida, I think you you should not do that. We're too dumb to, to get into this at the end right. of the show right, for right. sure. I was but waiting for you to... Florida start. definitely had... No, I know when to hit the brakes on something. Fuck. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I think Florida, you can not lose your house, and your house is very protected somehow. Yeah, but your 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 name... Life lock, And stuff probably. is on public record. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, but the, the name... I of fucking... The owner I don't, of the business is on record. Yeah, but you can hide that through a holdings company. Is what I'm saying. Like, it, it would be elaborate... It'd be almost Howard a Hughes. Registered agent, I guess. Yeah, it'd be Hughes Howard Hughesy kind of like paranoid, but I don't know. I just there's something about it. I don't like that it's out there. Not that I have anything to hide or I'm worried about anybody finding me because I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of like. Well, yeah. What are you worried about? I don't know, man. We could it, use the publicity. Yeah, but uh, yeah, from one fast, extra person, fastpeoplesearch.com. Fast people, search. <laughs> fast people search. One more listener. Well. Uh, if you are listening to this and you got some knowledge out of it, share it with a friend because we're closing out this show. But that's the best thing you can do other than also, you know, subscribe, rate, review, hook up our sponsors. Yes. And uh, we love you. What about my sweat equity? We love you too. Sweat equity. Sweat, 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 sweat equity. My sweat equity. My, my sweat equity. What about my sweat equity?